And then the third category is 20 guys who are not getting to a Super Bowl. Fox Sports 1's Colin Coward made a horrible mistake. And certainly not winning it. And that's everybody else. From Baker Mayfield, uh, Teddy Bridgewater, uh, Dwayne Haskins. Wait a minute, Dwayne Haskins? New details about a tragic collision in Florida. Quarterback Dwayne Haskins, a member of the Pittsburgh Steelers, struck and killed by a truck overnight while walking on a highway. The Florida Highway Patrol says a 24-year-old was hit by a dump truck while crossing this stretch of I-595 in Fort Lauderdale around 7 this morning. He was about to enter his second season with the Pittsburgh Steelers, having signed a new deal in March. Haskins had joined his teammates in South Florida to train. The news was shocking. A lot of us didn't expect to hear something like that. Uh, Mike Tomlin uh, uh, said it best. You know, you see it on the screen there, how devastated he is, loss of words. Dwayne Haskins was 24 years old. Dwayne Haskins tragically passed away in April of 2022. For someone of Coward's ilk to not catch it is stunning. Guys that are just not, that, that, they're, yeah, that it says can win Super Bowls. It's can't. Can't win Super Bowls. Okay. So six stars, four high end starters, and 20 guys that can't win a Super Bowl. Somehow, someway, Haskins' name appeared on Collins can't win the Super Bowl since being drafted in 2013 graphic. A tweet from the account back after this wrote Coward's insensitivity was likely because he is not one to cover the deaths of prominent athletes. Colin doesn't do death, they wrote, citing a source. The more than likely out would be the crew stating, well, hey, what about Paxton Lynch? What about Blake Bortles? What about EJ Manuel? What about Johnny Manziel? As SB Nation wrote, Coward is trying to hammer home how difficult it is to draft and develop a winning quarterback, but it's a poorly thought out segment overall. Haskins is the one name Coward should have avoided slamming after his tragic death, but he either wasn't prepared or careful enough and made a now wide seen air. It's an egregious mistake by Coward. Exactly. And it comes off as not just an egregious error, but a humongous, monstrous mistake considering that Colin brands himself as the know-it-all sports guy. Mistakes happen. The problem is this feels like a shot by Coward, even if it wasn't because of the past history that we have seen on this subject. Surprisingly or not, the powers that be in production cut the segment after the flap. Another member of legacy media who simply failed in this space. I also said Daniel Jones would be the second quarterback drafted when he came out ahead of this guy, this Haskins, that everybody raved about, that I knew would struggle in the National yes. Football League. God the reason I'm basing it, I know it, and that's, 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 yeah. Yeah. I shouldn't have said it, but. Rex Ryan, ex-Jets head coach on the worldwide leader. Reporter Chris Adamski joined the disappointment in sports media with this asinine tweet you see on your screens. Well, you know, Dan, uh, I hate any time anybody is killed or anybody dies, uh, but he was a guy that was living to be dead, so to speak. Gil Brandt, former Cowboys executive who was inducted into the NFL Hall of Fame. You know, they told him, don't under any circumstances leave school early. You just, you just don't have the work habits. You don't have this, you don't have that. What do you do? Left school early. Anytime anybody dies, it's tragic. And especially when you're 24 years old and you got to hold your whole life ahead of you. Uh, but, um, you know, maybe if he'd have stayed in school a year, uh, he wouldn't do silly things. I mean, I don't, when you're jogging on a highway, uh, you know, on a road like that, that leaves it open because I tell you, it's so, guy has two drinks and he's just a little bit to, to the right side of the road and, and gets hit and killed. It's easy to happen. But they weren't alone. ESPN's Adam Schefter would write, delete, then rewrite a tone-deaf tweet about the late Ohio State alum. The important point to hammer home with Coward is this. While it was likely a mistake made somewhere in the production process, a network as big as FS1 and a show as big as The Herd has enough people overseeing everything to avoid an error that will result in such intense backlash. That's exactly it. Not only should Coward have seen this because as members of the media, we not only have to be statistical and understand the present day in the world of sports, we also have to serve as somewhat of historians on the sports world. What just shocks me is, as the last paragraph stated, Fox Sports 1, I have been in those studios. It is an incredible production that they have. 
from multiple control rooms to the producers to the studio space to everyone working on these shows. For someone not to catch Dwayne Haskins' name, RIP being on that list, is inexcusable. 